Joby, thanks for joining us. Not the performance you would have wanted to finish the season with. No, something I've got a little bit tired of saying after a game the last few is disappointed with just the manner of the performance, to be honest. I didn't think we looked like we came here to have a real intent to win the game. You know, that's the biggest thing that's disappointed me over the last few days. Um, oh, sorry, the few games that we've had. It's just a, a bit of a lack of desire in the group. I think after South End, I think it just knocked a few of the boys and sort of drained the confidence and yeah, I suppose that ability to go out there and still perform when maybe nothing was on the line and ultimately not enough have turned up in the times that we've needed them. You know, we've tried our best. We've, we've tried to drive the group as, as best we can in the last few weeks in the circumstances, um, but it's been tough at times. And, um, you know, from our point of view, I'm just really disappointed that we've ended after getting to a place where, you know, we, we were good, you know, we were winning games. We, we looked like we were certainly on an upward curve. So for me to finish off, you know, the 16 games with today um, is really, really disappointing. Lawrence Figueroa, the uh, player of the season. I think that's four penalty saves now, isn't it? Yeah, unfortunately for him, was irrelevant today. But listen, Loz has been excellent for the vast majority of this season. And, you know, he deserves certainly all the accolades that he's got. Um, you know, for me, it's been a real season of development for him and growth. Um, and he's certainly been one of our stand-up performers this season. There weren't too many positives, but I was impressed with Matt Young. Yeah, I've been, I'll be honest, on a day where I am struggling for positives, you know, those two coming on and Sweeney, you know, I've just said in there that coming away, they're the, the moments I remember, you know, coming on for my debut. Yes, it would have been lovely to, to get them on in better circumstances, but even coming on at 3-0 down, they showed me more than some of the other lads did. And that's what excites me about the game. That's what I love about the game. Two young boys that have come on with a future in front of them that thought, I'm not just going to come on and, and blend into the background and just be part of a 3-0 defeat. They come on and showed me a little bit, you know, and I think from Orient's point of view, it's great. You know, I think it's a real step in the right direction for those two. We're a club that does develop talent and we do produce talent and get it into the first team. That's very, very important. So I'm certainly glad to have been a part of their process as everyone else has behind the scenes and getting, to them this, getting them to this point. And I think they've both got really, really big futures in the game. So I was really pleased for them. You know, they've been fantastic in and around the group. They've travelled at times, not been on the bench, all part of the process. They've bought into it. So I was really, really happy to, you know, see that look when they knew they were coming on and then just having a chat with them after now. Um, you know, for me, it's what football's about, really. I look forward to seeing their progress. Thanks, Joby.